So here is a first patient, uh, heart transplant. We do radiographs, screening radiographs on these patients, looking for any abnormality because these are immunosuppressed patients. So regardless whether they're symptomatic or not, they get radiographs, uh, PA and lateral, and also get their uh, cardiac catheterization with myocardial endomyocardial biopsies. And we are on the radiograph looking for uh, radiographic appearances for the rejection of the transplant, which is in the form of heart failure or enlargement of the cardiac silhouette. And also for opportunistic infection, they usually present as nodules or consolidation, and also PTLD, proliferative lymphoproliferative disease, which can often uh, present as nodules or masses. So this patient has a tiny abnormality here, as noted, very faint, seen on only the frontal PA view, but not on the lateral view. This patient was still in the clinic, so we called him back. This was a, a regular dual energy scan or radiograph. We called him back, and we said, let's do a DDR, uh, just to confirm. And on the DDR, you can see this is a subtracted image. That nodular density persists, and I zoomed it up. It's kind of blurry, but you can see a vessel going through it, but there is a persistent abnormality. So our suspicions was a little more stronger. So we said, you know, uh, this, is, this was not present before, so we need to investigate further. So this patient ended up having a non contrast CT of the chest, which did show that this abnormality was actually uh, along the pleura in the posterior rib, right there. Uh, patient also has similar changes on the other side, which we could not see. So we are seeing this because they are projected longitudinally in front of you. So you can see only on the frontal view, but on the lateral, because the density is lower, you cannot really have the density uh, evaluation on lateral view. Same thing is happening on the other side, where the density is parallel to the posterior costal pleura, so you cannot really see on the frontal view. So it's all radiographic imagination, but it can help you, but this finding is not suggestive of PTLD, so this patient basically need follow-up because he's not symptomatic.